Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. Manchester United has just shown their level by drawing with Fenerbahce in Turkey 0, I mean 1-1, one, one. I almost say 0-0, zero, zero. yes, but it's 1-1 one, one, guys. Uh, this is our late uh, match reaction. The game was last night, but I want to tell you guys what I think about that game. And guys, I want to listen to you. Please tell me what you think went wrong with that game. I think if you're you just if you just come out and say okay it's because of uh lindelof's error that uh, we, we lost the game then it's very basic i mean it, it you're not lying but it's very basic but there's something i took on that game which um really made it made me know that united we are not i want to say this manchester united is not a champions league club any longer can you agree with that i know it's a very difficult fact I'm going through my personal life, my mind, my head. I'm going through a very serious mental uh, situation. And uh, sometimes it's very difficult um, to accept where you are, you know, and uh, it's very difficult, honestly. But uh, I hope Manchester United hold on as a football club and try to turn things around. And for us to turn things around, you have nothing to do about an individual player. It will be more about a better strategy on how to build a club that has that cohesion in football. So guys, uh, um, um, that is what I really think, that the problem with Manchester United cannot be placed on one player. If you are still at that level where you're placing one, I mean, the whole club problem on the player's mistake, then um, I just say you need to get another community and watch because you really don't, you need to, I mean, we have been seeing this for years. This is what I'm trying to tell you, remind you guys that uh, we get, we get, football is a game of mistakes where players will make mistakes. But also football is a game of collectivity when you have to try to dominate games in your collectivity and also score your goals, uh, your opportunities transmitted into goal. So the game started you know, with a very, I mean, United were so comfortable in that game, the first half, which is very unusual with United. And uh, we are uh, with uh, Ericsson goal. The Ericsson goal, I would say one of the best goals we have had for a very long time. That's a very good club goal from Ogate, intercept the ball, you know, give the ball. Uh, to Rasmus, Rasmus, to Rashford, Rashford, Rasmus, Rasmus, you know, uh, you know, to uh, Ericsson, and that was a goal. Look, where I was watching that game yesterday, uh, yesterday, it was I was in a bar downtown here yeah, in um, in uh, Glasgow, and uh, you know, um, there were Manchester United fans. I mean, Manchester United match goer fans who were, were there. And uh, when United conceded a goal, none of them were surprised, it's, and they were not disappointed. That rang a bell in my head, like uh, this is where we are as a football club. I mean, we are slowly becoming, <sighs> I don't want to say we are slowly becoming um, bottom wanderers. No, I don't want to say we are slowly becoming Everton or whatever, but really we are slowly becoming a European League club where we are struggling to, to win games in the European League. So for us to do that, as I said earlier, is we have to do very, we have to, focus on a very aggressive recruitment not buying expensive players but buying very few expense um, experienced players and also you know getting a uh, young players who want to make their name as a manchester united player so uh, let's just do our uh, match ratings i will tell you guys off the ball that my man of the match i don't know who what sky i've said i don't listen to people a lot this channel i'm here to air my this is where I talk to some of you who are interested in football. I talk to you my opinion and some of you drop your notes. We talk our friends. I have a lot of friends in this community, so please make sure you subscribe if you want to. If you don't want it, I mean you can fuck off. Oh, it's not my it's not my my style to use the F word, but you can really fuck off. I'm not here to please people. I'm not here to I mean to dance to make you feel happy. I'm here for us to talk about football. It's very simple. Yeah. So um I think my man of my match for me it's um a, it's uh, it's the goalkeeper Onana, and Onana for me I would say Onana uh, just a seven point five for me. I mean clearly man of the match. Why the way I give my man of the match? I don't know about the way the childish people do. We can agree to disagree, but the man of the match should be, should be someone who influences the game. It's not the someone who played normally really well, but someone whose actions cost a game. You don't need to score. You can be the guy who intercepted two interceptions and get a man of the match. Guys, you guys need to educate yourself the way you, you make choices in football. Football is an intended entertainment business. The reason why I'm giving Onana a man of the match is not because he had a fantastic game. It's because he made two successful, uh, if you look at the, the, the grand scheme of things, uh, the whole game, he did two successful saves 
that really helped Onana. So that helped to give him that position, but that helped United to stay in the game. Because imagine that Manchester United had, I mean, Onana didn't do those saves and we scored. And we, we and, and Turkey, uh, Fenerbahce had uh, two goals. We would have lost the game. And the reaction here would have been different. It should have been, oh, my God. And people will be, you know, most of you will be clicking and smiling, and especially the kids who watch YouTube. Here. Yeah, so um, I think Onana was the man of the match for me. I gave him 7.5. Coming her daily time, daily didn't put anything wrong. Very good. I, I mean, I, I'm starting to believe that our problem is not really the central of the midfield. Most of you just say, buy a nine. This, I don't want to call idiots, but this so-called football pundit, uh, who have played football, successful career, who always say, oh, you want a 20-goal 20, 20, um, 20 uh, attacker in order to win a championship. How many 20 goals attacker are there in Europe? To win, to be in the top, the way football... Look, I was talking about this with some United fans. Guys, sorry I'm talking, but it's all related to this game. If you want to listen, you listen. I was talking about this with a football fan that uh, in yesterday that my love for football... Is slowly dying. It's not my love for Manchester United because football is slowly dying. Why? Because there's too much money in football, which means there's too much profit to be made, which means that everything is going clearly. Football is becoming like a stock. You know, this, I mean, it is, it, it is already at that point because we remember like almost 10 years ago, players would look like stock. But look, what I mean, what I mean by this is. The, the the joy the pre, the prestige the 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 the, the rivality of uh, of football fans the, the, the all the the qualities that made football what it what it it is today and was I mean it is slowly dying someone should tell me this I don't know what you guys think but I don't know maybe I am the one seeing things differently but I think it is dying because when you look at Manchester United players play for themselves and. I, let me just go through. I mean, I, I digress. Let me just go back to the, the, the player ratings. Well, I, I think um, the lead for me was a seven, a part of the, the goal seven. I and mean, in Lindelof, Lindelof was a clear five. I won't give him a four, five over ten. And I'm an, um, over ten. Uh, for me, uh, on the left wing, we had Lisandro Martinez who, who came in uh, and also, yeah, I think he had a, a solid also six, six point five. Anything that would be fine over ten. It was, it was average, but I think. Uh, um, Delo, Delo for me, I find Delo very strange. Um, Delo playing in his favorite position. Honestly, you expect more from Delo, isn't it? You expect more from Delo, but I was surprised. Delo for me, I give uh, Delo a five point five. Delo would have proven just yesterday that guys, this is my, I mean, this is my position. But he did have a good game for me. Uh, yeah, and um, in the midfield. I think Ogate, I give Hagate a solid seven. For someone who, and you tell me, Rob, come on, what's a seven? For someone who is, um, yeah, we had this argument yesterday, guys. For someone who is playing as a defender in a massive club of criticism like Manchester United, who isn't given a chance, you have to be strong on your head. Oh, my life. You have to be strong. I play football. I would say one of the strongest. I played with Samuel Otto, one of the strongest strength of Samuel Otto was that his belief and uh, I will tell you guys especially the youth if you are not strong in your head you won't make it in the society these days life is too we, we can say it's easy but uh, the mental side of life is too strong if you can if you're not strong I'm sorry you won't make it uh, you won't make it you have to be really strong you have to learn how to to, to, to hold things very um, closely to you. I mean, so uh, I think um, Ugate is just proven. I mean, to be a very top player, uh, he had a very good game in my view. I do give him a seven, considering all those things. Um, uh, I think um, I'll give also uh, Ericsson a seven, who played as an eight. I was very surprised for what uh, Eric Ten Hag did by bringing Mazari to play as a playmaker in the ten. Why did Eric Tenag do this? Why was Ahmad not given a chance to play in the holding midfield? This is a massive mistake. This is that, that's one of that's the only criticism I can give to Eric Tenag. I mean, you don't do that with the club. I remember there was a football player who left the club because I, I, the, the, the name has gone now. Someone should help me. Who left Manchester? Not, not Manchester. I think it's not Manchester. It was Manchester, I think. Yeah. When they, I mean, everybody, they had to change players. There was all the players who were already not there. And he was the only 
specialist in a certain position and he wasn't put uh, he wasn't trusted to play the position that is so bad in the mind then why are you playing that club go and play in the lower league club and do well in that club and keep your prestige you and i mean you you end your career i know you had a good career so uh that's where we are and um yeah that's uh, where we are so but uh, in marcus rashford for me he had a six Rashford is, str is, str is not struggling, but he's struggling to be a collective player. Very good player, an individual player, but in my view. But uh, I think uh, Rashford will do well if he develops that collective aspect. Ganacho, I'll give him a 6.5. Yes, 6, 6.5. He was the guy who was the most dangerous guy. You can even give him a 7, but he was the most dangerous player at Manchester United going forward. Uh, I also had this chat with these United fans. So we're talking about Ganacho. Ganacho will not be long for Manchester United. If United can show, can prove to be a, something, be winning things in the next two years, Ganacho will leave Manchester United, unfortunately. So, uh, Rasmus Holland. No, um, sorry. Well, the defender we had before. I don't know. Rasmus Holland who came in for uh, Zeski. But Zeski, for me, Zeski, I won't be hard on this Zeski. It's a young player. Zeski, for me, I don't know if it's a system that is not right. If Zeski continues like this, and if we have a change in manager, I think we will, Zeski will be moved on. He will have to, if he, he continues, I mean, if he ends the season like this, Zeski will be, will be moved on. We want, the play for United is not about you being young, it's about you being courageous. And I think there is just a lack of courage. For Zeski now he won't he can't make it in such as in such a situation honestly. Uh, Zeski I give him a five point five. Just he was just useless in that attack honestly. And uh, Marasmus Holland who came in it's not like he did much but uh, you you could see you can feel his presence. I give him a six. Ahmad six, you know uh, players so who came in they did what they could. They, I mean they didn't influence the game in no way so I give them all a six. So with the manager, I think the manager, we didn't lose the game. Considering United is not a Champions League team again, we are not even a top four team again. This is how low Manchester United have come out down. I will give the, man the manager. But still, Manchester United has to beat the Cheetahs. The Cheetahs, believe me, there are many clubs in the league, the, in bottom, in the last three, bottom three in the league that will beat Benfica, Ben. ben, ben <laughs> Fener will be uh Fenard Bache, sorry, easily. I said Bechitas. Uh Femo who beat uh, Fenon Bache easily. There are many clubs who beat them easily. So I think Eric Tenak in this game give credit where it's due and uh he doesn't deserve it. I think I give him a five point five. So guys, yes, tell me what you think because I think um though because I'm a problem solver, I will say for Manchester United to move forward, we have to learn how to play as a team. If we cannot have a, 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 a drill, like a team drill, then it is useless. That ball has to move as a team. That is the only way we succeed as a football club. So guys, yes, our next game will be on Sunday. So uh, we'll do our, our preview for that game. We will do our five things we'll learn sometime later today. I just wanted to react on that game because I'm so disappointed, even if I'm not surprised of a United draw. United are still searching for their first win in this tournament. Anyway, guys, click the like on the video if you like what you heard. If you didn't like what you heard, click the dislike, please. It helps also for me to know how um, what you guys think. But drop your comment. Who was your man of the match? How do we improve United? This is what fun is about. This community, this channel is not about me. Is about us. There, I don't know. Maybe you don't understand English. Anyway, have a lovely weekend and talk to you soon. Bye bye.